And another thing about pretty boys is to me, I don't see as a man being called a pretty boy. I don't see that as like a compliment. I see that like not disrespectful, but I just don't see it as a compliment. And today we are watching why do women love pretty boys? I heard a lot of women say they like that might be a little bit ugly or I might go up to somebody and they'll be like, oh, you're too pretty or some shit like that. Curious to see what this video has to say about this topic. Have you ever wondered why girls seemingly love pretty boys? The like you see fuck? any guy on TikTok looking what like- What the fuck is this con- is, was that content? This, he'll have a legion of women commenting heart emojis and explicitly lusting- Maybe in like the- in other ethnic groups, this is- possibly desired right for him and i've seen this with my own eyes when i add girls from dating apps on social media i get a glimpse at what kind of guys they simp for this thing look like an alien and it's usually guys that look like this why do girls seemingly love guys that look like this and not necessarily like giga chad so this often comes down to male versus female gaze what men think an attractive man is is not necessarily what women think it is right. and women the dude we uh, the video i just recently watched about what women actually find attractive kind of spoke on that a little bit also have this i even made a video reacting to women ranking themselves based on attractiveness and it was almost the opposite of what men thought were an attractive woman. But uh. when we are talking about pretty boys, what exactly are we talking about? This will usually be a relatively young looking guy. He'll have, you know, a full head of hair, kind of longish. He'll have like some definite masculine features. He'll be quite tall, uh, have like a good jawline and so on, but also have some arguably feminine features to his face like long eyelashes that's a big thing thick lips and you know other features that you may associate with female beauty i think people get a bit mixed up here i believe a lot of the reason why a pretty boy is a pretty boy is simply having health markers you see if you have some good health markers like skin that's a big deal for okay, the okay. pretty boy aesthetic right like if you look at any of the tiktok pretty boys that girls simp this nah this nigga nah this nigga's it's certain shit bruh all right that's how i feel certain ways we can take pictures as men like i people be saying you know what I'm saying? they make fun of me because i'm a light skin apparently i'm a light skin i don't think i am i feel like a light skin we've seen actual light it's okay i'm not gonna get into it i'll just i'll just accept it but i don't take photos like this there's dark, darker niggas, dark, dark niggas than me, dark niggas that'll take a picture like this before I do. I don't feel like we should take pictures with these type of gays as men looking into the picture. Like, because when you think about it, if you were to put, if there was an AI thing that were to put womanly hair on this nigga right here, this would look like a woman. It just would. Over, it will almost invariably be a guy that has very collagen rich skin, a lack of acne, and just like tight collagen. Like, rich I skin. never took a pic, like, I, I, I've never done that. And that, you know, signifies health. Like, you look at a guy like this, and it seems like this guy is like a million miles away from having a heart attack, right? This is a healthy guy. And, you know, us men, we value health markers in women like imagine if there was like a girl that had like very nice uh dimorphic features but she had like loose pocked skin with like crow's feet around their eyes and like Damn. huge nasal lobial folds like that really does take away a lot from attractiveness and it's the same for women looking at guys girls absolutely do value masculine dimorphism but they also really value health markers a lot of what the male gaze is is simply guys not realizing the importance of health markers and only just have like this myopic view of masculine dimorphism, right? Having collagen rich skin- Some of these words this nigga is using. As a man is really important to your overall attractiveness. There's no doubt about it. A lot of men just kind of glaze over this like it's not too much of a big deal, but like, no, the quality of your skin and you know, youthful features in your most face signifies health. And in a hunter-gatherer society where girls are looking to, you know, have a kid with a man, they would prefer a guy that's healthy, like a guy that doesn't look like he's going to injure himself or get an illness anytime soon. Word. And health markers can really carry you quite far as a man. Like you don't have to have a jaw as wide as me 
to be an attractive man. Like you don't have to have the most masculine dimorphic features. As long as you have good health markers, good skin, good hair, you know, that can carry you really far yeah, in terms of attractiveness. True. And another thing about pretty boys is there is often like a combination of masculine and female features to their faces. And I think a big reason why this is so appealing is because it's kind of To me, regardless of how, like, what it attracts or think, like, I don't see as a man being called a pretty boy i don't see that as like a compliment like if a girl says that or if somebody says that i see that like like not disrespectful but i just don't see it as a compliment like i don't i'm a man i'm a grown-ass man been through shit <laughs> worked hard jobs you feel me like really had to get down with certain shit and stand on certain and now you, you call me a pretty boy I just don't, I never could get behind that. I never really liked that shit, I ain't gonna lie. Kind of like hedging your bets as a woman. Like if you have a child with a guy that looks like Giga Chad or was like really extreme masculine features, but only in like one direction, this guy might give that girl an attractive son, but maybe not an attractive daughter. However, if there's uh -huh. a guy that has like a combination of okay. features that would be good looking on a man or woman, they have like a, a small waist, youthful collagen rich skin, long eyelashes, right? stuff like that. Whether a woman has a son or daughter with that guy, <laughs> the son or daughter is gonna be fine. Like he's gonna have, he's gonna grow up to be very attractive and healthy. So from like a evolutionary biology perspective, you know, a pretty boy kind of occupies this like safe bet. It's like hedging your bets. That guy can give a, a good looking son or daughter to a woman. So it's like, it's like win-win. The son or daughter is going to have a, a good life, most likely. <laughs> and there was kind of Damn. Damn. like an equivalent we have as men. Yeah, niggas just be saying shit. There are some women that have like very like female dimorphic features and they'll have like no sharpness in their face whatsoever. Mm. And then there's some girls that have like a very sharp jawline and mm. facial features that you can imagine if you had a child with a woman like that she could give you like a healthy and attractive son or daughter so it's kind of like your child is gonna be set up for a good life regardless if you have a child with them so i think that's what's going on when you have like good health markers and you have features that are like universally attractive regardless of gender it's from an evolutionary biology perspective it's so attractive and is going to, you know, increase the chances of children having children for your genetics to continue, which is what your genes want to do. They want to reproduce, right? So that's why I think the pretty boy look for guys is so appealing to so many women. It's like hedging your bets for lack of a better term. I made some bonus videos that aren't quite algorithm friendly on my Patreon about how to improve your looks. If you want to check that out. That's it, bruh. Man, it's tough, bruh. Like people there's i've been seeing a lot of these videos coming up probably because you know i watched one and now they be getting recommended to me but you know man look if you don't just know that if you're not born with some of these things that these people are saying and certain things you just cannot change you can't you can be you can be good you can be you just have to you know what i'm saying take the steps if you're if that's even what you want to do you have to take the steps, you know what I'm saying? If you're like somebody who's struggling in their day and life and you're like, oh, why do women not find me attractive? It's probably some things that you do or bad habits that you might have or things that you're not taking care of that you need to go ahead and take care of. Um, so that's not to say, you know what I'm saying, don't love yourself and don't be comfortable in your own skin. You feel me? Don't change for nobody, but change for yourself. If that's something you feel like internally, like, bro, I don't want this anymore. Like, I want to change for myself. Do that and start making those changes. If you're happy, good, good. That being said, like the video, sub up, comment up, hit the noti bell, and make sure you binge the rest of the videos on the channel. We've been going crazy. Love y'all. Eddie D. Let's do it.